welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I wanted to take a quick look at getting Chirp installed on the Raspberry Pi so that we could program all of our favorite radios with it. So let's dive right in. The first command is uh, just going to install a few Python tools that we will need. And yeah. as always, I'll leave these commands down in the description so that you can copy and paste when you're getting ready to do this. So let's get these Python programs installed real quick. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and clear the screen. And I'm going to take a quick look at my directories. I'm going to just make a directory uh, for Chirp. And we'll move to that new directory. Now let's head over to the Chirp website and get the download link that we need. All right, once on the website here, We'll click on download, and then we're going to scroll down to other Linux users. Uh, click here to download the latest version. Now it's going to highlight the Mac version since I'm uh, installing this from a Mac computer right now. But we want to just use this last one here, the yeah. tarball source. So we're going to right click on that and copy that link address. Now let's head back over to the terminal. All right, so we're going to grab that file with a wget command. Just going to tell it not to uh, worry about checking any certificates. And then we're going to paste in the link that we copied from the website. And go ahead and press return to download that file. All right. Now that that's done, we need to untar it. So I'm going to use the list command just so I can copy this file name here. And we'll say tar xzf and the file name. Go ahead and return. And now you should see a new folder. So again, I'm just going to copy that folder name. And we're going to move into the folder that it's created. We'll list that out. And you should see something that is setup.py. So we'll run that. All right, so that should take care of the install for us. Let me head over to my VNC client. We'll connect up to the desktop of the Raspberry Pi and take a look at things from there. All right, so now that we're over into our Pi's desktop, we'll go up here and click on the start menu, and let's see, I believe it stuck it under accessories this go around. So we'll just go ahead and click chirp to open up the software. All right, once the software is open, we'll go ahead and click radio and download from the radio. I went ahead and hooked up a Baofeng radio to it just so we could see it download from the radio. For your port, I'm using uh, a USB cable. So we're just gonna change that to USB and we'll select the Baofeng and then mine is a UV5R so we'll select that and we'll say OK. You may get some of these uh, warnings says uh, radio drivers are experimental do you want to proceed? I just go ahead the first time I run it and click never show me this again because I know uh, you always get this uh, warning when you uh, start chirp. So and then a few instructions here if you haven't done it before I'm going to just tell them not to show me that anymore either, and we'll say OK. And there it goes. It's cloning the frequencies that I've got in that radio into Chirp. So once it uh, finishes up, it'll display a list of my frequencies. You can make changes uh, as needed, and then you'll be able to go ahead and upload those changes to the radio. All right, so there's the list of frequencies, and then if you had made any, you could uh, click Radio, Upload, and you notice it doesn't allow you to change your radio uh, manufacturer or the model number. Uh, that's because this file is specific for the UV5R. Uh, it still has USB 0 selected there, so all we would do is hit OK, and it would write that information back to the radio. Chirp makes it super easy to program several radios uh, up 
and I use this for all of the radios that I have. So I hope this helps you guys out. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave any comments if you've got questions down below. Until next time, guys, 7-3.